word of the Lord tells us in the book of Exodus, chapter 14, verse 15. It says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the people to get moving. Come on, look at somebody and say, Get moving. Get moving. Get moving. Get moving. Get moving. Now, would you just send it in and say, get moving? Get moving. Isn't it just like God? <laughs> Hallelujah. We want him to be like, ay, pobrecito, okay. <laughs> and God's like, get moving. Come on. What are you wasting time for? <laughs> Why are you wasting time? Get moving. <laughs> El Señor les dijo, ¿por qué andas llorando? ¿Por qué andas clamando? Muévete. <laughs> Is that the correct way, Father? <laughs> Daddy. I got the nod. He says, get moving. See, there's a time for everything. There's a time. And we've cried long enough. We've hurt long enough. We've been in a state of pain long enough. We've stressed out and lost our minds long enough. Hemos llorado suficiente, hemos estado en dolor suficiente. Hemos estado preocupados y perdiendo la mente suficiente. Hemos estado en mucho estrés y quejando suficiente. Come on, say it's long enough. long enough. We've been worried, we've been stressed out, we've been hurting, we've been broke. Long enough, somebody say long enough. We've tried to figure it out our own way long enough. Lo hemos tratado de nuestra manera suficiente. We have suffered and endured long enough. Hemos sufrido y, y tratar de seguir en medio del dolor, en medio del fracaso suficiente. We've done long, we've been long enough in these difficult times. We've gone through it long enough. The word of the Lord says in the book of Psalms. Ecclesiastes, I'm sorry. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1, it says, There is a time for everything, a season for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to rebuild, a time to cry and a time to laugh, a time to grieve and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to turn away, a time to search and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be quiet and a time to speak up. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. The word of the Lord says there's a time for everything. And we've taken those times where we took a break. We rested. We had a whole year of pandemic where we didn't go to church, where we were staying away, where we were watching live, where we were taking a time, of, a moment away, and the Lord says, get to moving. Tomamos un tiempo para estar alejados por la pandemia. Estábamos alejados de la iglesia, no venimos. Estábamos en nuestras casas descansando y, y viendo por la programación. Pero hoy esta noche, el Señor dice, ya es tiempo de mover. Es tiempo de mover. Get to moving. Start moving. What's, we've been quiet. We stayed quiet. We stayed shut up. We kept our mouths shut for a while. And God is saying it's not time for that anymore. Now it's time to speak up. Now it's time to prophesy. Now it's time to testify. Now it's time to worship. Now it's time to speak out and let the world know that there's a Savior. Ahora es, estamos, estábamos quietos, estábamos, no queríamos hablar, pero el Señor dice hoy esta noche, ahora es tiempo de hablar, es tiempo de pro profetizar, es tiempo de testificar, es tiempo de orar, es tiempo de clamar, es tiempo de gritar de las cosas que Dios ha hecho. It's time to shout. Out and to scream about the things that God has done. 
There's a time for everything. But right now, God is saying your rest time is over. El tiempo de descansar ya ha terminado. Es tiempo de movernos. It's not time to take a break anymore, church. Come on, somebody. It's not time to take a break anymore, pastor, minister, teacher, evangelist, worship leader, Sunday school teacher, usher. You've rested long enough. You've taken a break long enough. You've sat back and let others do the job long enough. God is saying, get to moving. Has, has, has descansado suficiente, has tomado tiempo para relajar suficiente, has sentado suficiente y dejar lo demás que trabajan en la obra. El Señor dice esta noche, levántate y empiece a moverte de nuevo. God is saying right now, get to moving. Come on, look at somebody and say, get to moving. We've been mistreated, we've been put down, we've been disrespected long enough. It's time for us to get back to the level that we were created to be at. It's time for us to get to the mindset that God had called us to be in. It's time for us to begin to be respected as a man, as a woman of God, and begin to, to demand the respect as a powerful person. The enemy has disrespected you long enough. You have the authority over Satan. You have authority over over the sickness you have authority over the brokenness you have authority over the financial debt and you've been disrespected in your finances in your health in your relationships in your marriage and God is saying right now get to moving es tiempo de movernos we've been sad and discouraged and weak and weary We're calling our friends all the time. We're calling the ministers all the time, complaining about what we're going through. God said that time is over. That season is over. That season is finished. Get to moving. El Señor dice en esta noche, este tiempo, esa tie ese tiempo ha terminado. El tiempo de dolor, el tiempo de sufrimiento, el tiempo de estar en depresión, el tiempo de sentir que ya no puedes seguir adelante. El Señor dice hoy esta noche, ese tiempo, ese sesón ha terminado. Es tiempo de moverte de nuevo. It's time for you to get to moving. It's been long enough, church. We've suffered long enough. We'd have, we've had only a few people coming into the church long enough. We've had only a handful of students long enough. We've had only a two or three youth long enough. Come on, somebody. It's been long enough. Get to moving. You want to see the youth come in? Come on, youth pastor. Let's begin to, to call them out, to begin to speak them from the north, from the south, from the east, and from the west, that they belong to God. It's time to get to moving. I remember that when I had knee surgery, when I had my ACL surgery, do you remember that? The day I came home, they sent me home with a machine. El día que yo regresé a la casa, me mandaron a la casa con, un, con una máquina. And the day of my surgery, I had to begin to use that machine to begin to work my knee out. Empecé a usar esa máquina para trabajar la rodilla. And I remember I was like, wait a minute. I had surgery today. Shouldn't I be resting? Shouldn't mama be taking care of me? No debo de estar descansando. Yo, yo tuve cirugía hoy. Y el doctor dijo, no, necesitas comenzar a usar esta máquina hoy. Para empezar a trabajar esa rodilla. If you want your knee to be better, you need to start working it now. And the problem today, church, is we, we get wounded, we get discouraged, we get hurt, we get offended, and we take so much time to recover. Y en hoy, es, hoy en este tiempo, la problema de la iglesia es que nos lastiman, hablan mal de nosotros, nos ofendan, no nos llaman para estar en, en la obra, no, no, no nos dan chance para estar en medio, en, en la adoración. I'm not the main one, so I don't want to serve anymore. Y el Señor dice, y queremos tomar tanto tiempo para descansar, para recuperar. 
Y el Señor dice hoy esta noche Ya has tomado suficiente tiempo de recuperar Es tiempo de comenzar a trabajar de nuevo Es tiempo de comenzar a moverte de nuevo And God is saying right now Your recovery time has been long enough You've been trying to recover You've been trying to take a break And sometimes I understand church I know that it gets hard You've been wounded, you've been hurt But God is saying Your recovery time is done You're strong enough. You're ready. Get to moving. Come on, look at your neighbor. Look at your family. Look at your husband. Look at your wife. Say, it's time for us to get to moving. And don't necessarily just point them out. But say, it's time for us to get to moving. Y no solamente miras a tu esposo. Mira, mira, muévete. No, honey. Vamos a movernos. Vamos a regresar a la iglesia. Vamos a regresar a la obra. Vamos a regresar a las, las responsabilidades. Let us return to our responsibilities. Let us return to our post. Let us return to what God has for us. Let us return us together as a people, as a marriage, as a family. Get to move in church. Vamos a movernos, iglesia. And I say this, and I unite with you. Let's get moving. Vamos a movernos. And then the word of God tells us in the book of Exodus, the Lord says, tell the people to get moving. Use your shepherd's staff. Hold it out over the water, and a path will open before you through the sea. Then all the people of Israel will walk through on dry land. God said, use your shepherd's staff. Use what you have right there. Use what you hold in your hand. Use what I've given you. Use what I've provided for you. Usa lo que yo te, te he dado, dice el Señor. Usa lo que yo he puesto en tu mano. Usa el talento que yo te he dado. Usa las finanzas que yo te he dado. God is saying, use the talent I've given you. Use the, the finances I've provided for you. And so many times we want to focus on what we don't have. So we don't even use what we do have to better the kingdom. Queremos enfocarnos en lo que no tenemos. Que no estamos enfocados en lo que sí tenemos para, para engrandecer la re, el reino de Dios. Can you imagine if God had said, use the staff in your hand, Moses? And Moses said, well, I don't have anything to shovel out the water, God. No, he said, use what I've given you. Come, that's right. Come on. Well, God, I, I, don't, I don't have a lot of strength. I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have the money. I don't have. And God is saying, use what I've given you. Well, I don't preach like that, and I don't sing like that, and I don't have a new car like them, and I don't have a big house to have Bible studies, and I don't, I don't have big pots to cook a lot of food. God is singing, use what you have. Use what I've given you. I've given you a talent. I've given you an ability. I've given you an ability to clean. Go clean the house of God. I've given you an ability to love the children. Go pour your love on the children. I've given you a beautiful smile. Then go and let the world know that there's a God that loves them with your smile instead of being moody and upset all the time. God is saying, use what I've given you. Usa lo que yo te he dado. Use what you got. Come on, somebody say, use what you got. Usa lo que tienes. You have a pen. Write sermons. You have a computer. Type up songs. Use what you got. Use what you got. What don't make as much money as them. Use what you got. All God needs is your willingness. And he will take care of the rest. El Señor solamente necesita que estés dispuesto. Y Él... Se encargará de lo demás. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 21 says, May he equip you with all you need Hallelujah. for doing his will. May he produce in you through the power of Jesus Christ every good thing that is pleasing to him. All glory to him forever and ever. Amen. He has already equipped you. Come on, say, I'm equipped. I'm equipped. I'm equipped. Yo soy equipado. 
Yo tengo lo que necesito para hacer la voluntad de Dios en mi vida. I have what I need to do the will of God in my life. It says it in the word of God. It says, I will equip you. He will equip you. Use what you got. Usa lo que tienes. Well, I don't have a big van. You have a car. You can pick up your, your niece and your nephew to go to church. No tengo un, van, un, un carro bien grande, pero sí tienes suficiente lugar para levantar a tu sobrina y tu sobrino para ir a la iglesia. Well, I don't have the best phone, but you got a phone. You can text a brother and a sister and say, hey, see you at church on Sunday morning. Pero yo no tengo lo mejor teléfono. Pero si tienes teléfono, te puedes mandar un mensaje. Hermano y hermana, no te vi en la iglesia. Espero verles el domingo por la mañana. Well, I don't have a strong preaching voice. So my niece calls it. But yo no tengo un, un voz para predicar bien fuerte. But you have a heart that seeks the face of God. And when you pray, he listens. Pero tienes un corazón que está buscando el corazón de Dios. Y cuando estás orando a él, él escucha. Use what you got. Usa lo que tienes. And the word of God says that God told Moses and put your staff and the waters will open and they will begin to walk on dry land. Las aguas abrirán y ellos empezaban, empezarán a caminar por tierra seca. See, God had already taken them out of Egypt. Dios ya les había sacado de Egipto. God had already provided for them and protected them as they were on their walk. Dios ya había prote los había protegido y suplido cada necesidad que ellos tenían cuando estaban en el camino. God had already done it. He was about to do it again. Dios ya lo había hecho. Ya los había librado. Y iba a hacerlo de nuevo. He had already taken them out of Egypt. He had already answered the prayers. And I'm here to let somebody know he's already done it for you. He's answered your prayer before. Él ya ha contestado tu llamado, tu clamor. Él ha contestado tu petición. He's come through for you so many times. Él ha estado ahí tantas veces. And he's about to do it again. Y él está para hacerlo de nuevo. He is still able. Él todavía está dispuesto. Él todavía lo puede hacer. He's still moving. Todavía está moviendo. And he's about to do it again. Y lo va a hacer de nuevo. The book of Psalms, chapter 26, verse 4. And the message Bible says, And now, God... Do it again. Bring rains to our drought stricken lives. So those who planted their crops in despair will shout hurrah at the harvest. Those, so those who went off with heavy hearts will come home laughing with arm loads of blessings. It says, Lord, do it again. Señor, hazlo de nuevo. Church, he's about to do it again. Iglesia, él está para hacerlo de nuevo. He's about to do it again in your life. Él está para hacerlo de nuevo en tu vida. Keep on believing. Keep on trusting him. Keep on persevering. The word of God says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. The same God that saved your husband one time before is going to do it again. The same God that healed the sickness in your family is going to do it again. He doesn't change. He's still a healer. El mismo Dios que lo hizo antes lo va a hacer de nuevo. 
el mismo Dios que restauró tu matrimonio los, lo hará de nuevo he's still the same and he can still do it he will do it again for you church he will do it again for our people he will do it again for the young people for the youth he will do it again for the children somebody needs to know it tonight he will do it again say Lord I know you've done it before would you do it again yo sé que lo has hecho antes lo harás de nuevo